mistakes that we've all personally done in the past, just showing you guys some techniques that I have learned that have helped me make my makeup look more flawless. So on the right side of the screen is going to be the correct way versus the left side of the screen, which is gonna be some mistakes, again, that we've all made in the past. So on the right side of my face, I'm applying a primer, and primer is super important in order to keep your makeup intact all day, and it also makes your makeup go on a lot smoother. I prefer a mattifying base because it helps blur out all of your pores. So I know what color foundation I am, so at this point I'm just painting on my normal Makeup Forever HD foundation, and I like to apply it with a paintbrush first, that way I can make sure it matches my neck, and once it oxidizes, you can make sure that the color matches perfectly. On the left side of my face, I'm applying a foundation that actually matches my skin once I have a tan, but as you can see, it's way too orangey, and it just does not match. So I'm applying this on my face, and then I'm gonna be blending this out with my Beauty Blender. On the right side of my face, we are gonna be blending it down onto our neck. That's one thing that's super important when doing your makeup, is to blend whatever foundation onto your neck so it all blends evenly and it all matches your chest and it doesn't look like you're wearing a mask. One of the main reasons why I love the Beauty Blender is it does a lot of the work for you. Sometimes with brushes, it can leave your foundation looking a little bit blotchy, but if you use a primer and then you use the Beauty Blender to help blend it out, it's gonna give you a perfect flawless finish. So on this side, again, you can instantly see that it is just way too dark and it does not match my skin tone. So that's one thing to really keep in mind is when you're finding the right foundation color, just making sure that it matches you and it doesn't look like you're wearing a mask. So as you can see, it looks really silly because I didn't blend it down on my neck, so that's just one thing I want you guys to keep in mind. Moving on to concealer, for the right side, I'm using a concealer that's probably like one or two shades lighter than my actual skin tone. Now this is something that I did all of the time. I would always use a super, super light concealer because I felt to highlight and contour, you had to use like really sharp contrast colors. So originally I used to use that and it just took more time, it took more blending, but now what I've noticed is just using a shade a little bit lighter, it's still gonna do the trick, it's still gonna give you that flawless finish. It's mostly just to cover up the dark circles and it's just gonna be so much easier on you. You're not gonna have to blend as much. So again, when picking the concealer shade, you don't need to go too extreme. Um, also on the wrong slash left side of my face, you can see I am just applying this concealer right under my eyes. If you do it in a downwards triangle, it's gonna help really bring that part of your face forward, making you appear more awake and just giving you more brightness to your face, which I think is the goal when people are applying concealer. You want it to really wake you up. So if you're applying it just underneath your eyes like that, you're gonna see the line and it's just not gonna look cute. Another thing you have to remember to do is to set your concealer, that way it doesn't slide all over the place. This is another trick that I wanted to recommend for you guys. I like to apply it right underneath my eyes and also under my cheekbone. So moving on to brows, I am using my brow bar to go on the right side of my face. This is my favorite one. It's very natural and it keeps the brows looking just a little darker, but very natural. And for the wrong side or the left side, I'm using the Anastasia Pomade, which is a really great product if you use it correctly, but it's so easy to take things a little overboard with the pomade. That's why I stopped using it, because I noticed that my eyebrows were looking a little bit too fake. I think the goal with makeup is to make it look as natural as possible while really enhancing your features, so that's another tip that I wanted to give. Also, if you are using concealer to shape out your brows, make sure you're buffing away that line. You can see here, I left that line and that's a pet peeve of mine if I see anyone with that concealer left on their brows. So just make sure you're smudging that out. Now for contouring the nose, this is my little trick that has worked for me immensely. I like to draw the line a little bit more closer in towards the center of my nose than where my actual nose is. That way it's gonna look much more narrow and it kind of gives the illusion of a smaller nose. If you contour too far out, it's gonna make your nose look wider. It's kind of hard to see the result because I did contour one side correctly or how I prefer it at least, so maybe in another video I can just show you if I were to contour it wrong, like how much of a difference that it would make. I used to only contour the sides, and I feel like that's why my nose used to look a lot bigger, because I just contoured it wrong. So it's all about figuring out what looks best for your face. So now I'm just wiping off the excess powder. Moving on to bronzer, I am using a shade that's not too, too dark, and I'm applying that on all of the parts that I want to contour or bronze up a bit. A tip that I have for you guys is to use a very light hand and slowly build, instead of applying too much product and then having to buff it out too much so you can see it just kind of all blends together nicely for the wrong side I'm using a really dark shade and I'm gonna give it that muddy look which we've all had happen before I am guilty of this as well so I just want you guys to know that it's all common mistakes we've all made but with time and with experience you grow and you learn different tricks so we don't want anything to look muddy so if you apply a shade that's not too dark again it's a lot easier to blend out and it's gonna look a lot more natural you don't have to do as much work 
So moving on to blush, I am just again very lightly applying this on the apples of my cheeks. And then on the left side I'm applying just way too much blush, just giving it a nice clown look, you know. Again this is a very dramatic interpretation but you guys get the point. So since I did apply a cream contour shade, I am setting it with a light grayish color. And that's again so the nose contour stays all day. And on the left side I am using the darkest shade and I am really enhancing the side part of my nose which again is going to help make your nose look wider. So it's all about just figuring out what shape you want to make your nose with the contour and then going from there. And another thing that you guys want to remember to do is if you are contouring your nose, you want to drag that into your crease so it all flows nicely and it doesn't look choppy. So for this video I really wanted to focus on the face so I'm just going to do like a dramatic random eye look. I'm just going to do a normal eyeliner and then I'm going to do a crazy extended line on this side so you can just see how eyeliner can really help shape your eyes. Um, the way that I did it on the right side, it's going to help really open up my eyes and make them look bigger and just really sultry as opposed to the left side that's going to kind of close up my eye and yeah, so the eyes don't really pay much attention to. We wanted to really focus on the face for this video. So for lips, I always overline them. It's just something that I like to do, but there is a way to overline them and then there's a way to take it a little bit overboard and it could start looking a little bit awkward. So I just wanted to let you guys know that if you want to try and make your lips look bigger, all the power to you. Just try and do it the right way and try and make it look as natural as possible. So yeah, I mean again, we've all been guilty of this. Sometimes I overdraw them a little bit too much and it's a little bit extreme, but it's all about just figuring out what you prefer, your preference, how you like your own makeup and really doing it that way. So I don't want you guys to think that this is me saying that my way is the only way. I am not telling you that everything I'm doing is the correct way. It's just different tricks that I've learned that I personally feel have helped make my makeup look more flawless, more natural and yeah, so for the highlighter you could see sometimes we go a little overboard and you don't need too much. The key is again to keep it looking natural and keep it looking simple and just really enhancing your own features. So here you can see the left side which is looking super crazy versus the right side which I think looks pulled together nicely. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something new. Remember, these are all mistakes we've all made, but if we didn't make those mistakes, we wouldn't learn from them. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you all so much, and until next time, I'll see you guys later.